Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm big brain, but I do know my way around a computer. But there's been one part that I have no idea about, and it's the blockchain. And I thought, what better way to learn about the blockchain than creating my very first smart contract without having any idea? Should be pretty easy, right? 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 Hmm, now what is a smart contract? This is the simplest way I could figure out how to explain it. So let's pretend we have two friends. We have one friend named Bob and another friend named Beauregard. Now let's say they want to make a bet whether Tada's YouTube channel is going to reach 100k by the end of 2021. Bob is bullish on Tada's. He says he's going to get to 100k, so he puts $5 down. But Beauregard is kind of an uh -huh. so he puts $5 down that it won't happen. Now normally we'll have a third friend. Let's call her Lucinda. She would take the money and hold it until January 1st. 2022 where then she would theoretically give that money to whoever was the winner now this is fine but we are putting a lot of trust in lucinda even if she is a trustworthy person we're putting a middleman between two people who want to have a contract but what if you could remove lucinda from the equation and write some sort of algorithm that will pay out the correct person when the correct parameters are reached that's a smart contract but it doesn't just have to be bets between people it can be any sort of contractual agreement it can be loans maybe insurance, anything that has to do with money. And it's not even limited to money. I think it could be any contractual agreement. We're going to be building the smart contract on Ethereum. Just so go to ethereum.org, switch to dark mode, go to developers, learn by coding. So to learn about how Ethereum works, we're gonna be using this code sandbox called Remix. And once you're inside Remix, you should see an editor similar to this. Now this is where you could test and write all sorts of smart contracts and then deploy them and all those things. Now this whole IDE makes this whole process a lot simpler and more user friendly. We have three smart contracts here. We're gonna take a look at the storage one because it's the simplest one. So reading through this code, all this storage smart contract does is store a number and we have two functions, one to store that number and then one to retrieve that number. Now to deploy it, we first want to compile it. And now that we have it compiled, we go to this deploy and run transactions. So this environment that it lets us select is basically which Ethereum network we're going to run all this stuff on. There's the main net, which is the public Ethereum network, which is like the production pretty much Ethereum network. And Remix gives us some virtual environments where you could run the Ethereum network locally where we don't really affect the main net. So if you have actual Ethereum, you probably have a wallet where all this Ethereum is stored on and that wallet has an address. It's like your username, your basically your identification that this is your account and your money. Remix creates some for us and it even funds it with some ether. Now, of course, this ether isn't real ether. You can't just sell it or anything. Since this is going to be used on your local network, not the main network, it's pretty much worthless, but it lets you test with it. We're not gonna worry about gas limit and value right now. But we have our contract selected so we have that storage contract that we compiled and then we just click this one button called deploy and there we go we have our smart contract deployed on our virtual javascript machine so just like i was saying you have your own identifier for what you own and like your ether the smart contract has its own identifier as well and we can deploy multiple smart contracts and they will each have a different identifier for that specific smart contract and you remember we have these two functions to store and retrieve. Again, Remix makes it really easy for us to take a look at it and do it all manually, but we can store a number, let's say 69. Nice. We store that and then we can also retrieve that data and you'll see we get our number back. So this is probably the simplest smart contract you could ever make. Let's say we wanted to bring our friends Bob and Beauregard back in here. So what would we do? Well, our contract, instead of storing a number, will store the $5 from each of them. And then we would make the smart contract checked on January 1st, 2022, what the subscriber count of my channel is. And if it's over 100K, the money will get sent to Bob directly. If it's less than 100K, the money will get sent to Beauregard. Now, full disclosure, I don't know if there's an API for YouTube, so I don't know if this specific thing is possible, but the idea is the same. The other thing that will make you trust smart contracts even more is that it's, it's immutable and it's distributed. So you see, when we deploy this smart contract, we can't change this specific smart contract anymore. We can deploy a new one, but we can't change the original smart contract that we made. And this specific smart contract is also on the blockchain network. So that means it's verified by a lot of other people, not just by one person. So let's say someone was trying to mess with this smart contract, was trying to change it up. 
it wouldn't really work because since it's on the blockchain, the other members would not verify that specific thing that's going on. Now, going back to our Bob and Beauregard example, we would want to deploy this on the main network of Ethereum because we're actually translating real money and we want it to be verified by real people. Now, let's be clear. We barely just scratched the surface of what smart contracts are. This Remix IDE makes it really simple for us and very intuitive, but there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes with public keys, private keys, all sorts of stuff. You crazy, crazy, you stay till the end again. And for that, you get a meme.